Okay, this is some cooking show. Huh. That was a whole segment, the previous one. I didn't even talk about cooking. I was talking about John Keats and Maddie and addiction and Ode to Urns. Uh, what was the line? Uh, an Ode to a Grecian Urn. Heard melodies are sweet, but the unheard are sweeter or something like that. Um, I guess it pertains to recipes. Red recipes are sweet, but the unread ones are sweeter. So that's this is sort of an unread recipe we're doing now. Um, I'm sort of making it up as we go. And Maddie's now playing with the blueberries. <laughs> She's feeling a lot better. Oh, Maddie, 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 Sassam. Maddie, Maddie, Sassam. Okay, here. Let's get down for just a second, okay? Let's get down for just a second. Okay. Oh. All right, so in, when we went away, the oven got to 350. I buttered the pan that she was licking because she adores butter. I did all the mixing, which was you do uh, one third of the flour mixture into the sugar, the eggs, and the butter, and then half of the milk and lemon and lemon zest, one third of the flour, the other half, and then the other third of the flour. Now what we're gonna do now, when we take the mixer up here, is I'm gonna go over here and get these raspberries that I rinsed and had them in paper towels um, to dust, we're gonna dust them. I guess I'll dust them in this, because it's supposed to dust them with flour. I don't know if you can you see me over here. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take these raspberries that are now dry and clean. And I have no idea, I assume raspberries will bake okay in the cake. Um, the blueberry, I mean, yeah, blueberries, I mean, raspberries, blueberries and raisins, I love blueberries, and they're so good for you. They're like the antioxidant quality of them. They're like a miracle drug. Um, but they, they are a bit like raisins. When you bake with them, it's like bugs crawled in there and died a little bit. Uh, so let's see what the raspberries, if the raspberries would be less... Um, insect-like within the cake. So then you take a teaspoon of the flour and you dust these. You dust these with the with the teaspoon. Here. Okay. Dust the raspberry. Then you take your mixing bowl of batter. Yes, it's so pretty. It smells so good. Hi, hi, hi. See? And take this, clean this off. I've already licked the Danish whisk. This batter, I mean, even if it doesn't bake well, it, the batter itself is so good. This is a batter test. It's really good. Okay, we're going to fold in these, these raspberries into this, okay, till it's evenly folded. Ooh, that's a lot. It's gonna be a very raspberry cake. Okay, fold those in. I'm gonna take this pan that Maddie loved so much. Because she hasn't eaten since last night. Um, they told me at the vet place not to let her eat for another hour or so because uh, she could asphyxiate. Um, she's a little drugged up. Okay. I'm going to pour this batter in here. Okay, ready? This may be a disaster because of the baking powder and baking soda. When I when I do my orange cake, I did last week. That combination of soda and powder really works with the olive oil and those ingredients. So I don't know how it's going to counteract with these ingredients and these measurements, but we're going to find out. I want it to be good for Maddie because we've named it for her. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, 
before it gets smeared out here. I'm gonna spoon over that. Okay. So we're gonna bake this at 350 for an hour. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna glaze it. I'll have the glaze ready. And we are going to pray to my grandmama and Maddie Mae and Natty here in my life now and John Keats that this is gonna work. Okay, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Maddie, thanks you. <laughs> you don't know what it means to me that she's in this video this evening, okay? Because uh, I love this little girl so much. Someday I'll tell you the story of her, okay? Oh, she's my little helper. She's my sous chef. Aren't you, Maddie? Okay. Later. Uh, see you in an hour.